Classic Saints and Tasty Cakes podcast. I'm Bert Lepore. He's Samuel Monte Carlo. We're hanging here with Angry Mike D. And we talk about music, movies, and so much more. Hey, welcome to another episode of Mixtapes and Tasty Cakes. I'm here with Mike D. <clears throat> Damien couldn't make tonight, but we're going to talk about the Fallout series. Uh, you know, waiting for it to come out. I know we have the, about the video game and all that stuff, but you know, I never really played too much of it. Mike has played the game more. Love like, this so, game. Um, <laughs> when did they start uh, talking about this? Mike, they were putting this out. Do you remember? Um, this was probably maybe early 2020, somewhere around then. Okay. So like. Kind of during the pandemic, which was like, you know, at that point, it's like, oh, things are just going to get messed up. I don't think this is coming out. I think it's just going to be all talk. And then, you know, because everything was getting shut down. But right. And then the writer's strike. And then the, I don't know if the writer's strike affected this one, because this was probably written and probably had all that done before. They were probably just doing the editing at that point. So I don't know if the, if the writer's strike helped hurt this one. But. I mean, it was, it was a four-year wait since they announced it. Wow. Uh, I mean, I know a little bit. I played a little bit of the video game, but I know you played a lot of it. Did uh, did it follow the video game story, or is it just intertwined? It's well, it, it's a new story. So, well, it begins out in, a, in the present day in 2077, and we have uh, Walter Goggins' character, who is a... Uh, the ghoul. The ghoul, but he's a... Uh, <clears throat> What's his name? Cooper. Uh, uh, Cooper Howard. Cooper Howard. And he's sort of a TV actor. or And a, I guess he's probably like one of their, their biggest stars. And a, he's like, but it's weird because it's like in 2077, everything's like old. It's like from, yeah. feels like from the 1950s. Yeah. It, but it's... with almost like a, like, I want to say like a Jetsons like technology. Yeah. Yeah, without the flying cars. Because if no you look at it, cars. if you look at it first, you think it's old. You think it looks like it almost a sci-fi show right. from the fifties or something like that. Um, yeah. So we'll we'll go through. Uh, I'll name a bunch of characters here if I can. Hopefully, I can say their name right, and then we'll go through just a little short thing of the episodes. So um, Lucy McLean McLean is played by Ella Purnell. Maximus is played by Aaron Mountain. Uh, the Ghoul Cooper Howard. Played by Walter Goggins. Hank McLean is played by Kyle McLaughlin. Lee Moldaver is Sarita Chow- Chattery, if I'm saying her name right. Chattery? Yeah, it sounds somewhere. right to me. I, we're probably butchering it. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Betty Pearson's Leslie, Leslie Ugmans. Thaddeus is Johnny Pemberton. Norm McLean is Moises Arias. And then there's a couple cameos that we, at least there might be more than we've seen, but the ones we noticed were. Uh, Titus was Michael Rappaport. Eric Estrada <laughs> shows up as an as a guy named Adam, and we'll get into the you know the episodes with that. Uh, and uh, the guy who played Forrest Gump, uh, Forrest Gump's buddy, uh, Bubba Gump. Um, <laughs> I don't think uh, he yeah. was. He was Bubba. I don't think he, they weren't married or not. No, they were buddies though. He wasn't Bubba Gump. He wasn't Bubba Gump. Well, we know him <laughs> as Bubba Gump. <laughs> That's how we know him. So, uh, <laughs> uh, Mike Keta Williamson is Honcho. Um, yeah, so the story in general is uh it's pretty it's pretty weird. Uh, it's like it's like you have this it, I mean it goes into with the episodes, but you have this big company that's kind of like this Vault-Tec. big court we have Voltec, it's a big company, you know, that's trying to take over all the tech well, they run all the technology. It almost would be like maybe like Apple or somebody now or something like that. They're they're basically a monopoly. Yeah. And uh and they have their plans to, you know, you know, like um, I guess they're selling shelters and stuff like that. To well, the the, go- the government contracted them to sell the, the shelters. Okay, good. You explain them, like you know more than me. And uh, basically, they're running off of government funds as an entity of their own. So they're allowed to build these shelters, and in turn, I guess they they have scientists working on different projects. Right. And uh, yeah, so they're setting up these vaults, and there's about I think 122 of them all together. Throughout oh, wow. the states, wow, and um, and they're using radiation instead of electricity, right? Is that the one of the things? Uh, I think I believe it's nuclear. 
nuclear, nuclear energy, energy or free energy or something like that. It's it's not they don't they don't use electric. Yeah. So listen, if you're a big fallout person and you're watching this episode, I'm brand new to this. Don't break my balls. I'm gonna do my best <laughs> I could with with what I got. No, I, so. hey, I don't think like you really need to even play the game to watch the show. I mean, it might be more enjoyable, but right. I enjoyed you, it overall. I, I did really enjoy it. I thought it was really I thought it was well done. I thought that the camera shots were great showing the different worlds and stuff like that. I think they did a great job. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I, I was absolutely impressed by it. And, yeah. and I was going into this, like, not that I wasn't thinking much, but I'm like, man, they're going to screw this up. They're going to screw it up. They're going to screw it up. Well, usually they do. And, you know, They stayed pretty faithful as far as like all the artwork and the way everything's done and, and the whole feel of it. It looks it, good. The, the music of it. Like it's, it's, it's a, Pretty much all oldie music from like the fifties. <laughs> yeah, which makes it even eerier. <laughs> it, it does have that. I'm not. A, I'm not a big fan of that type of music, but it the way they integrate it into this in, into the series is just it just works. Okay, so we're just going to give you a little bit of uh, each episode. We're just going to give a little. Uh, I'm not going to re- re- read what it's all about, but I'll just give you a little info on it. So uh, the first episode's called the end, and uh, we see at one point we see. Cooper, um, Cooper Howard, as you know, almost like a Roy Rogers kind of type cowboy guy that's showing up at a kid's party, <laughs> you know, like a celebrity, you know, taking pictures and all that stuff. And um, yeah, so to him and his daughter, and then he talks about something with the thumb, with the thumbs up was his, his gimmick well, kind of thing. Yeah, you know, thumbs up. But if the whole meaning of the thumb was when the bomb goes off, if the blast is bigger than your thumb. You're fucked. If your thumbs are bigger than the blast, run away. Right. Right. So, and that does happen. The daughter goes, hey, you know, she does the thumb thing and she sees this big nuclear blast kind of thing. And, um, yeah, so that's that's how it kind of it kind of kicks in. And then it goes uh, for a few hundred years and we uh, see a character named Lucy, you know, and she's what they consider a vault dweller. Um, yeah. And we see her that she's getting ready to get married. And, um, you know, it looks like this almost like a fixed marriage. I guess, you know, Mike would explain between the vaults and stuff like that. Well, I guess like after years and years of being in the same vault with the same genes being passed around, everybody's kind of related there. So and this was something new to the show, because as far as I know, in in the game, there hasn't been three vaults connected together. So so it's vault 31, 32 and 33. So they're receiving what's going on, basically, is. She put her application in to meet up with somebody in Vault 31 to get married and have kids with them. And it's pretty much like a vault and they exchange items and stuff like that. And that's how you keep the, the population, you know, sane by not making a bunch of inbred morons. So they kind of have like this wet, a wedding pretty much and uh, a reception. But, you know, you're watching the, the, the reception part of it and you're going, all right, you know, you got these people from Vault 33 that look very goody-goody, you know? Everything's, like, perfect, and, you know... <laughs> and then you got... What's it, what was it, Vault 32? Uh, was the other the guy I was from? And that you have these guys that are, like... You know, you watch them eat and stuff like that. They're, like, you know, cavemen, <laughs> you know, almost. Very, yeah, very barbaric. <laughs> so you knew something was a little odd, you know? I mean, that was easy to pick out. Um, yeah. So you knew something was definitely odd about that. The next kind of scene is uh, the character Maximus. And uh, he's like, you know, kind of like, a, he seems like a nice guy. He's getting picked on from a character named Thaddeus. Um, and they're beating you know, the shit out of him pretty much. Yeah, it pretty, looks like they're, it looks like a much. recess school beat. Yeah. And it's like, uh, and this takes part in the Brotherhood of Steel, which is like another not a gang, but like another well, they're like a, you know, like a society yeah. or something, right? Um, yeah, so um so his buddy who is uh I forget the character's name, but uh Dane. What's his name? Dane. Dane, okay. So gets promoted and he don't get promoted, but you know, she wakes up with you know putting her foot in a boot and she winds up cutting herself on a razor blade. There was a, somebody stuck a razor blade in her boot and she got hurt and couldn't do her duty. So he got promoted to be right. pretty much the, the golfer for Titus, who's in this big kind of armor thing. <laughs> you know, looks like a robot. Yeah, he's he's a, he's a, he's sort of like a douchebag. Yeah, 
who and who winds up being Michael Rappaport, <laughs> which is pretty entertaining. Love the cameo, by the way. Yeah, it's, it's funny. It's funny. He always sounds like he's complaining when he talks. It's great, <laughs> right? He, 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 I think he is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's his thing. So we move on to another scene where you see a bunch of these cowboy kind of guys, uh, which is the guy from Forrest Gump. And um, they kind of, uh, I don't know if they dig out or they they pretty much resurrect the ghoul somehow. Well, right? he, he, was, he was being held by this, the guy they shot when they went up to the, to the house. He was pretty much being held captive. Okay. Basically, they had him in a grave and they had that radioactive shit going in the grave, keeping him alive uh-huh. so he doesn't turn. So I guess this guy's probably going to be using him for something in the future, but you know, he's got him under control right now. Right. And what happens is that, you know, the ghouls are pretty badass and uh he gets out of that <laughs> by taking on them other guys, pretty much. Which um, you know, those guys came and they they were actually come on, we're gonna do a job. You want we got one more job to do, and the ghoul's like nope. And he <laughs> after these guys pretty much shave his life, he kills all three of them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the fun thing about this, it's 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 got humor in it too. It's got like a dark humor. Too. Oh yeah, I mean, when you play the video game and, and you watch this series, it's not the same story. So you don't really have to be involved in the video game to to watch this. But it just captures it so well, like just everything. You know, right. even even the characters, like just the bizarreness of it, stuff like that. So it, it's it's all there. They they did a great job on that. Right. And I don't know if it was this episode or the next where, uh, you know, well, well, I guess still the same. The first episode it was still Moldava, right? And so um, where she shows up and they actually turn pretty much on them, oh, you know? Well, the guests, they, yeah, they went there to to raid the vault pretty right. much. They were like raiders. So they go there to the, the raid the vault and, um, yeah, I mean, just. They end know. up kidnapping the father. Yeah, Hank of uh, Lucy's father, Hank McLean, who's played by Kyle McLaughlin, who is the overseer, which is like the you know the boss of the vault kind of deal. Right. Yeah, there's and so much. I mean, I, you got to watch it. <laughs> it's it, there's a lot going on. In these. There's a lot. Going on. It's not like it, it's it's not like hey, this is the story right here. There, it's it's a little more intricate than than we can actually say. Yeah, we don't want to give away. Up. Yeah, we don't want to yeah. give away everything either. So. um uh, yeah, so you know, at one point, I'm not going to go through all these all the episodes. We can just talk loosely about what happens. Um, this, I ain't going to remember all this stuff. But uh, at one point, you know, they take Lucy's father, and uh, Lucy decides, "Hey, I'm going to go after my father. We need to get my father." Um, and her brother, who's kind of like a, uh, you know, dorky kind of guy, I guess you could say, like a little, yeah, he's diminutive, kind of like a little on the nerdy side. Yeah. Go with so, computers. Yeah. So, yeah. So he, he kind of like stays back. He don't go. Um, she gets out of the she gets out of the vault and she heads into uh, the surface, which is like the wasteland pretty much. Right. Yeah. You want to explain? And, about the uh, wasteland? Well, that's uh, Earth after the nuclear bomb hits. And it's uh, not very well preserved. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, buildings and, blown up, and this takes place, I, I believe, in California, which I don't think the game ever touched there. So that might be a little new to the game, right? It hit as far as Vegas, I don't think California was ever in, involved. Yeah, but then so, again, I didn't play the early games, right? Um, yeah, there's just so much going on. Um, yeah, you, she goes there. There's a city called Philly that they go to, and it kind of looks like your main market place in the town. You know, they they don't use money. They use bottle caps. Bottle caps. Interesting. Um, yeah, there's just uh, a lot of it's just done really well. It, it's done really well. And uh, the story has got a ton, tons of twists and turns. But anyway, Lucy goes to the surface pretty much. So you got Lucy finding her way. Maximus is sent on this mission to find the scientist. And this well, we didn't get any, you didn't get into that. Yeah. Well, we're just going through. The, I'm not going through each episode. It's going to be way too long now. I'm looking at it. Well, you got to get into sign with this because he's the main part of the story. Well, that's what we were doing, right? Right. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So 
he gets sent on a mission because we don't know that Maximus is getting sent on a mission to sit. We don't know who the scientist is yet, right? They didn't show nothing about it till after. No, they kind of had this guy. I, I don't know. I don't know what he was. If he was some kind of like a psychic or something, he's sitting there with the graph paper drawing out the picture, like a sketch. Yeah, right. So, so you see the scientist and the dog. And I guess the mission is to come back with the scientist. I think that was the initial mission. Right. Now I'm bringing the scientist character, who is a, what's his name? Siggy uh, Wilsig. <laughs> Not sure who, yeah, yeah. who plays it. He looks familiar, that guy. But uh, he's, uh, you don't know what's going on. He's doing his breeding with uh, these puppies. And if they're not up to weight, he's basically incinerating them. And when he finds the one he likes, he keeps it, trains the dog. And uh, then all of a sudden, he gets this strap and puts it on his face and then injects something in his own jaw. What the hell's going on? Yeah. So when the time was right, he ended up sneaking out of this lab. And now he's in the wasteland trying to get to Philly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's. The whole thing with this, you don't know who's good, who's bad. Everybody has a good side. Everybody has a dark side. It's all over the place. And it's just like each episode that you get to, it's like, huh? You know, but it all works. Um, so at one point, if, if we're kind of following the storyline a little bit here, at one point, they get into the city. And this is where all three of the characters kind of sort of meet. You got uh, Maximus is in the same spot as Lucy. And the ghoul and also the ghoul. shows up. Which... Uh, there's a cool little battle between the ghoul and, and uh, Maximus for a little bit. And yeah, it's and even like the, the lady who plays, uh, I guess, the clerk or whatever, or the owner of the shop. <laughs> that's pretty funny, too, because they mentioned fingers and you're like, she's like, oh, you still got all your fingers and which that plays into later on. But uh, yeah, there's a bunch of little Easter eggs all over. You know, you know, I didn't even there. I got to go back and watch this again, too, because there's so many, like, just as far as the video game goes, there's lots of little Easter eggs thrown in there. And uh, I watched this one episode, and this girl was talking about it. And there's about the first episode, there's about 100 Easter eggs in that. Oh, my God. Wow. I know, right? <laughs> wow. Yeah. I mean, it's worth it's worth watching. The story builds into a bigger story, which we don't want to give away. We want you to watch it for yourself. And you know, and see what you think. But uh, I was highly entertained by by the whole thing. How about you, Mike? Absolutely. I, I went into this with high expectations or high expectations with thinking that it wasn't going to be good. Yeah. This, this could easily be messed up. And it, it's just the, like when you play the video game, it's action, it's role playing, it, it's character development it, it's it's great storytelling and on the flip side there's quirkiness involved in it like there's comedy parts and uh you know if you do it wrong you're just gonna mess it up you know if you, you can't go too overboard with the comedy or or you know too serious with it where it's not going to have that fallout feel to it right and, and i think they they did a great job but there was a couple little cringe parts in it but yeah, well yeah I mean, and I'll even say it, there was the one part where, where Lucy says to Maximus, hey, do you want to have sex? And Maximus' response was, you mean make my cock explode? And it's <laughs> like, it, it was kind of like, <laughs> without giving anything up, it was kind of out of place. And it didn't, and it felt like it was like going to lead up to something besides sex, like why she said that line or whatever. And it was just so out of place in the series. It, it felt, it was a little on the cringeworthy side. I'd laugh though. <laughs> it was, I mean, it was, it was funny. Don't get me wrong, but it just, I don't know. There's no, really no need for it. Yeah. I guess Maximus is supposed to be on the naive side too, which kind of, you know, played to that, but it made him seem a little bit more on, 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 you know, on the slower side than the naive. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he seems, same thing. You see his character and you're like, oh, he's, he's got to be the nicest guy in the world. But then, is he nice? I mean, you know. No, I mean it's like every. I guess especially on on in the wasteland, man. Like I guess these people are doing what they can to live, and it's like you know, it, it's between you and somebody else. You know, somebody's going to die. You know, the only person that se seems pretty much pure is Lucy. Absolutely. You know that she seems like the only one that's 
you know, she just likes to have sex. <laughs> Which got her in trouble in the first episode. <laughs> well, well, she was she was married then, so yeah. you can't you can't really. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, it goes into scientists and different vaults, and like I said, we don't if we break down too much, we're going to give it too much away. Uh, so it, it it breaks down to a lot of different stuff. There's a lot of different character developments and even though you have your main characters there's a lot of cool extra characters too which they could probably build on i mean the next one is probably going to be vegas that's what it's looking like to me yeah so well, i mean it's interesting uh, the, well let's talk about the, the ghoul man how how he was just such a well-written character great guys should get an award for that role i mean he, this guy actually played two different parts and, and played the same character Pretty mm. much, you know, he goes and plays Cooper Howard, who's sort of like you know, the good guy, and you know, plays things straight and everything like that. And he doesn't want to kill the guy in one of his movies because he thinks that's what his character wouldn't do. And then he turns into the ghoul who just doesn't give a shit about who he kills. Right. And the flip side of that, going to uh, the Cooper Howard, you know, uh, movie guy, is that his wife works for uh, what's it? I can't say Voltec. Voltec. So his wife works for Voltec, and his wife's got some weird shit going on too that he's unaware of, but and he don't agree with a lot of it. And you see, you'll see a lot of the characters that you see in the vaults and stuff like that later on, or or in different gangs, if you want to call them, or you know, civilizations, all come from this area, either with the Voltec or you know, not happy with the Voltec stuff. Now, mind you, you, like Howard. Cooper's Cooper Howard stuff takes place in the year 2077. And uh, when they go, Lucy's part is in like, what was it? 2294. Yeah. So that's a, that's a big jump. That's sure. like 220 something years right there. almost. Right. Yeah. So yeah, it's just, there's a lot going on, but it's definitely entertaining. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's something I would definitely have to watch more than once to catch a lot of the little things. But it made me interested. Maybe interested in playing the game, maybe too. You know, I think you should. Yeah, I'm so bad at those games. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like I said, it's just just so many good characters, uh, and they show you, you know, kind of like a Quentin Tarantino kind of. They go back and forth a little bit, like back in time kind of deal. Right. So it starts making some sense to you. There's, I mean. There's even parts which I don't think we're giving anything away really here with um, the ghoul's got to take like this little liquid kind of inhaler thing so he don't become feral because I think once you become a ghoul, you become kind of feral, right? right? Unless you have this medicine. Well, they they didn't explain how he became a ghoul yet, but basically the premise is, you know, you're you've written the radiation. Some people become feral ghouls. Some people died and some people became ghouls that were just burn on the outside and you know they were kind of normal in the head they just you know functioned like people but weren't crazy yet and that's pretty much what what cooper howard became yeah but at a certain point every ghoul starts to turn yep, and- now the serum that they were given him that had nothing to do with the video game it was kind of made up for the, the series, oh, was it? Yep. which which i'm fine with i mean you know it works it works you know they, they could have had it in the video game and just not used it, you know, but it, there's there's things there that every time they put out a new game, that's new. So, right. That doesn't bother me. By doing They'll probably that. put it in eventually if they do another one. <laughs> who knows? Right. <clears throat> well, yeah. I know they are. In, they are in line for another one. Right. When? I don't know. And I heard rumors. <clears throat> I don't know if it's Philly, as in that town that we just came from in the, in the series or Philadelphia. I think it's Philadelphia. Which is yeah, what I, I'm hoping. I think, I think that would be. Great. I think it's going to be the Philly. I think it's going to be the city in the in the episodes. That's we'll what see. I now I think it's going to be the episode for some reason. Yeah. But we'll see. I'm hoping it's Philadelphia. Uh, yeah, that'd be just, really cool. There's so many twists and turns in the story. Uh, like I said, as soon as you think you know, you don't know. You know, it's it's one until the end, and you still don't right. Know. Like that's what that's what kind of got me. It's like you know, you could have just went on and and kind of did the villain of the week kind of thing with this and because there's lots of creatures and, and villains in the fallout universe mm-hmm. but they 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 kind of kept on this i, I don't want to say intricate storyline but 
I say intricate because it was like in three places, you know, it's not just one character. It's you're following these three characters. And even back in the vault, there's mysteries going on. So it's there's a lot of things going on. A lot well, of things to absorb if you're before you it, before you wrap up our, our synopsis on this. Like let's break it down where like a lot of people that lived in the vaults were either people that lived for the Voltec company or had money, right? Right. So they had their vaults to, to take care of themselves. Then you had um I guess the general general population that wind up, you know, just either going into the brotherhood or or being like a mad like the Mad Max kind of guys that are like you know the like the Raiders, yeah. Like like the, like the Raiders and stuff like that. They're just going to survive, you know. Uh they show you the part where that where California's all busted open and you have them people who are trying to who's got their own like republic, right? Pretty much trying to the NCR, you know, the New California Republic. Right. And you have, uh, what's that? Uh, if I'm saying, you know, Mol- Moldiver. Yeah. I'm Lee, Lee, Moldi- <clears throat> Lee Moldiver. Lee Moldiver. She, she's the head of that. So, and then she plays into other parts with the vault. And it's so all away. twisted. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just all twisted in. So uh, I would say if you like the video game, you're going to probably love this. If you know nothing about the video game, you're probably going to love this. So uh, definitely worth watching. You don't need to know the video game to enjoy this mm-hmm. but i'm looking forward to uh i'm looking forward to the next thing you know we watched it probably three days maybe four days like it was pretty good yeah, cool. i i binged this a little bit i don't like i don't know if i like binging man You're, it's like you gotta cram it all into one weekend it's like too much sometimes yeah but sometimes it's easier it's so fresh to remember too though you know that too but I, I feel like, you know, when you watch one episode and then you got a week to absorb it and then you watch the next episode, you could absorb that one. You know, I mean, hey, I guess, you know, if you're not a glutton like I am, you know, you probably do that. But I got to watch it at once. I just I can't take the cliffhangers. Right. So uh, Mike's got some or we got some questions here that we're going to probably just ask each other to see what we think here. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, I enjoyed the show. I recommend it. It's on Amazon Prime. Mike D, your synopsis? Yeah, I mean, I would say if you're a fan of the video game, you're going to like it. I mean, there's a couple, I, I, I guess, uh, things in there that didn't make sense. Like, uh, for one thing, uh, and it, without giving anything away, where the ghoul fights Maximus, and Maximus is in the power armor, and the ghoul's struggling. They're struggling with each other. But then at the end, where the ghoul knows, hey, I was in the war. Did this power armor still have this flaw in it? And he's boom, boom, taking out these knights with like no problem. That kind of bothered me a little bit. Right. That was probably the biggest, like, what are you guys thinking of? Yeah. But well, yeah. <clears throat> besides that, I mean, it was it was really good. I mean, I would definitely check it out. It It, it lived up to the hype. All right, so um, let's move on to some of these fallout questions that you got here, Mike. Okay, so uh, the first question is, if you had to move into a vault and could only bring five items, what would you take? Or would you take nothing at all? Hmm. You know what? I mean, clothes aren't going to do you any good. Huh. I, w- I would probably take some pictures and maybe a, maybe a few albums with me. That's probably about it. There's nothing really. Well, you got to bring something to play them on. <laughs> well, you got every. Well, you know, you got everything in there. It could work on your pit boy and stuff like that. So it's really, I don't know. Maybe I might go bare bones. Let's see. Yeah. Well, I guess the just pit boy could work as like an MP3 player, maybe. Right. Probably I mean, by then, right? You got all the 1950s music you could ever want. Yeah, so I guess I would have my hard drive <laughs> with my music catalog on there <laughs> using the old pit boy. I would take that. Um, you know, a couple bottles of ketchup. <laughs> well, I'm sure they have ketchup bread. in the vault. I don't know. Maybe they don't. vault Tech ketchup. But I never saw it in the game, but I'm sure it's there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Because he said clothes, they kind of give you the clothes already. Food, they're already feeding you. So maybe some music, some kind of entertainment. I don't know. Maybe a guitar. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's that's a tough one. Cause they right, there you, you go. The bear you got bases. plenty of time in there. Yeah, too much time. All right, so um, next question. What would be your job probably in the vault if you were in it? 
I don't know. I mean, probably maybe a security guard, I'm thinking. Okay. Maybe somebody that or, – or, or maybe the flip side, maybe growing vegetables. Grow a little <laughs> something else. <laughs> yeah, I, I would probably be around the security guard kind of thing or uh, – yeah. Or feeding, you know, in the kitchen or some bullshit like that. Yeah, I can't think what Definitely else. Definitely in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, the kitchen. Uh, knowing what you know now about the vault, what would you rather be in a vault or roughing on the outside? Oh, I, I definitely want to be in the vault. I mean, they still got toilet paper in there. I'm assuming. I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking the same exact. That's a, thing. That's a that's a big factor in everything is being yeah. able to wipe your own ass. It's a nice, like, fresh toilet paper. You can go to the bathroom and be clean. You take, can take a, a shower. shower. You can eat. I mean, I'm staying in the vault. You saw that scene with Maximus in the vault. He didn't want to leave. No, Maximus was eating that popcorn. He was having a good old time. <laughs> so you, what's going on here? Yeah, Popcorn. Well, and What was it at the... Uh, not clams. Was it clams or was it... A, oysters or something. Oysters, like yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, why wouldn't, uh, why wouldn't I stay in the vault? I don't need to... Prove myself to anything. I wouldn't be pampered. <laughs> well, I mean, <clears throat> you do know what's going on in the vault, so. Yeah. Yep. Um, there, there could be some. They didn't get into it yet, but there's some crazy stuff going on in these vaults. Okay, so if you had to align yourself with anybody, would you do the NCR, which is that New Republic for California? Uh, would you be in the Brotherhood? Would you be a Raider group? Would you be one of those vault tech scientist guys? Or would you just go as like a bounty hunter? Like the ghoul. The ghoul was a bounty hunter. Hmm. I mean, I'm, I don't think I'd be in the eating people or anything like that. But you know what, though? I mean, ghouls survive. As yeah. crazy as it sounds. But you're on your own. You're kind of lonely. You're kind of like a solo artist. You know, you're on the top. Nobody's got great looks up there anyway. So what? You're missing a nose. <laughs> yes. Let's go with the ghoul. I, I, I'd want to be a, like a, a ghoul or a, a bounty, bounty hunter. hunter. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't want my balls broke either way. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll stay with the vault tech guy. You know what I mean? I don't need my balls broke. The brotherhood's going to break your balls. You're going to listen to what they tell you to do. The bounty hunter you buy yourself, it's kind of You get cool power armor, though, if you play it right. Yeah. Fuck all that. So, <laughs> uh, okay, how long do you think you would last in the wasteland if you're in the wasteland? Maybe probably not long. <laughs> I think I would do all right. I'm pretty charming, I think. I would do all right. Can well, you gamble up here? I'm sure you can gamble. Oh, there's gambling up there. Absolutely, yeah. You go to New Vegas, you can do all the gambling you want. Yeah. So... Hey, you I make it there. New Vegas isn't bad. That, you can you can stay there and make a living. <laughs> yeah, I think I do it right in the wasteland. Um, now, it's, like it's, I said, that's different than me surviving in the bushes in the woods. That's a, well, you, I mean, like that. it's the whole thing of getting to somewhere too. I mean, yeah. like I said, they didn't they didn't show you everything in the series. I know more what's out there than than you've seen. So yeah, then maybe I wouldn't. Maybe I'd just. Hang I'd out. say I'd say I'd last about an hour. <laughs> Bare <laughs> bones, no guns, probably about an hour. Uh, maybe a half an hour for me. So maybe maybe that, I'll go that right. route. Yep. Um, would you rather be an overseer in the vault or a guy who cleans the bathrooms? That, that overseer seems like a lot of work, even though it's yeah seems more trouble than it's worth. You know what? I don't like cleaning up shit, but I think I'd take that job than be the overseer. Yeah, it's like um, if you manage a baseball team, the team could suck and it's the manager's fault. <laughs> you know what I mean? So- right. <laughs> I guess I go. I, I would do the same that you do. Stay under the radar. Suck on that tit as long as you could and stay underneath the radar. <laughs> you know? Um, okay, would you rather be... Well, I don't know what the hell the question is. Would you rather be a shitter or a clean the shitter? What the hell is well, that? Well, remember... Uh, <laughs> what's his name's character? He's like, I'm a shitter. He's like, they fed me food and I shit it out for the flies. Oh, this is fucking awful. Yeah, that's fucking just disgusting. Hey, well, you're you're getting fed, so... I guess you'd rather be a shitter than be shitted on. Yeah. I mean, come Why on. Why not? <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it's goofy. Um, yeah. So, Mike, do you want to add anything? No, that's 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 it. Okay, so that's our little breakdown for Fallout, Amazon Prime. Check it out. 
Don't break our balls if we didn't know everything. We're doing the best we could with something brand new for us. All right, guys, take care.